Oh, we always oh, love in with those penguins <gasps> down Look, in Galveston. Two swimming. Three. I think that one on the left is you and the one on the right is me. We're cruising around. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we're, we're having a good time. So whether you are trying to grow vegetables or flowers, when it comes to gardening, I think we uh, all could use a little help, right? Oh, I know I could because I don't have a green thumb and yours might be a little dull as well. Well, we have Darcy Lefsrud from Shinnevert Urban Gardens who has some tips to help you garden like a pro. Darcy, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Okay, so me. let's start with the right way to pot soil. Okay, um, if you're uh, growing plants on your deck or whatnot, you want to have the largest pot possible. Um, put a lot of stuff in there. It's an intensive environment, so you can grow a lot of stuff there. If you're, if you're growing in a plot like we have at the garden, uh, you want to put larger stuff in the center. It's taller. Um, you can easily pick that and stuff that's low to the ground or whatever. Around the perimeter. The but when yeah. you're, you're, you're kind of like deciding that planter, you said get the largest one that possible. That, well, that will fit for that you. That will fit for you, okay, for the space available. Right. Okay. But what about, because there are so many different options for containers. I mean, there are like wooden garden boxes. You have like clay pots, ceramic pots. There's plastic, a hole in the bottom, not. I mean, uh, yeah, you can see. You, you know, always want a, a hole in the bottom, right? Always want a hole in the bottom. For drainage. You need to let the water out so that it doesn't become saturated. Uh, really, it's whatever you want to have, whatever you can move. Some, you know, plastic ones are lighter. If you have a huge one that's ceramic like this, it's going to be very heavy. That might not be suitable for everybody, but, you know, whatever works. The idea is to make it happy for the plants, right? Okay, okay so summertime in Houston, uh, of course, we all know it is hot. very hot and very humid here. And, I mean, seasonal planting is really critical in having a healthy garden, right? Correct. Um, Houston is a year-round uh, growing environment. Not so everywhere in the United States, right. but in Houston you can. In particular, in the center of Houston, uh, Third Ward, uh, Montrose Midtown, it's almost like a microclimate, so you can really grow a lot of stuff year-round. Uh, early spring is kind of what summer vegetables would be in the north. Um, like your traditional, but summer vegetables, yeah. like tomatoes and that sort right, of thing. Right, 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 right. So in as we're starting to, like, you know, mindset on looking forward to fall and those cooler temperatures, what would be some of the things as we start, like, getting ready to pot something, what would be some things we would want to do? So fall is a, another shot at spring here in Houston. So to, we could, tomatoes. Yeah, you can start with tomatoes again. Um, I, I have, we brought some mint here. It's nice to have uh, little fall drinks and whatnot. Great. So let's go for it. Let's plant these, and uh, you can show us how to do it along the way. Scissors there. Just so scissors here. We're going to cut the bag open yeah. all the way off the top? Sure. All right. And when you're looking the for pot, soil, is there anything we should be looking for in terms of a, like a specific type of soil? Uh, just, you know, a reputable soil, um, a reputable uh, manufacturer of soil or whatnot. And are we going for something that's all purpose? Uh, I mean, there's lots of, yeah, there's lots of specialty ones. I think just all purpose, multi-purpose is good. Works well in our, yeah. in our weather here. And yep. so should I dump this in? Sure. Don't, uh, don't put too much though, because we've got to get the plant in there. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, they're Dirt making everywhere. a mess already. See, this is when it's so <laughs> much fun one for more. the kids. One more. Okay. Or the big kids like me who just want to get right, dirty. We so Good we enough. add just a little soil in the bottom, maybe a few inches. Yeah, don't pack it too tight. So a little idea, less than half full is what it looks like you guys just did. Yep. Is that correct? Okay. Yep. And is the idea that we want the, the top of the plant to hit the top of the pot? Well, just below. Just below. So like so, right in. Yeah, what right you're going to do is about. dump that out. Okay. So dump this out like this. Yep. Just give it a little squeeze. There you go. And what about the roots being bound? Because I've heard conflicting things that you oh, so should, should you break up the root ball? Just a little bit. Just yep. a little bit. Okay. Perfect. Break up go. that root ball. Stuck, turn it over. It in there. Okay. There you go. Oh, that mint smells and so good. And while you're doing that, I'm into eating a mint leaf. And so, and now just fill in around the outside. Okay. And then about how often, when it's a freshly planted plant, how often should we be watering this, Darcy? Well, I'm a, I'm a observer, so you know, just feel the soil. If it's if it's dry, um, a couple inches down, then you probably need to water it. So you're, you're gonna have to get your hands a little bit dirty. Yeah. Okay, I got the stupid question. Do you go ahead and water it right away once you put it in the pot? Absolutely, I would. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then there's some like rooting um, fertilizers you can put on also just to help just to help it uh, encourage it to root better. How often do you fertilize? Uh, every couple of weeks, generally. Okay. Um, Watch the plant. It's going to give a lot of signs. Uh, if you, you know, obviously they can't communicate with everybody, but you can still see what they're doing. So, get a book or get on the Google Later or whatever, and uh, see if you can uh, identify what it needs. It might need nitrogen or iron or whatnot. So. And Darcy, Chenevert Gardens, give us the 411. So it's a community garden um, in Midtown. 
Um, it's a nonprofit organization. There are 20, there's 30 plots, 26 are full right now. Um, it's a wide variety of abilities from people who have never stuck their fingers in the soil before to folks that have like these huge, big, um, tall, um, plots so it's a it, you know it's and it's fun we, we're always um, out helping folks there's big signs please water my children because we're on vacation or whatever that's so that's awesome helping yeah. each other sharing yep. some of the fruits of the labors everything yep. else oh that Darcy, is so this awesome. was really cool yeah. go Thank back and so see us again please in. absolutely now for more information on how you can garden at Shinnebert Urban Gardens visit chugardens.com all right so much fun coming up next a look at what is trending including